Someday they'll be considered vintage. Someday they'll be thought of the same way the Atari 2600 and the Nintendo Entertainment System are thought of today. Someday they'll be retro. And when you're retro, your faults are granted leniency, if not forgiven entirely. They're considered a quirky, even charming characteristic of the era. But until that day, the fifth generation of video game consoles, the Nintendo 64, the Sega Saturn, and in this case, the Sony PlayStation, are in a strange kind of middle ground. They're not quite retro in the fullest sense, but given the advancements the industry has undergone since, they're already very outdated. It's a nebulous sort of position, and we still adore some of the games released at the time, but it's shocking how rapidly others have aged. And this game, like the hardware of its era, is somewhere between the endearing retro and the disparaging outdated. Tomba was released to the PlayStation 13 years ago. In video games, that might as well be a lifetime. The rate at which things change over time accelerates rapidly in this industry. Things that worked 13 years ago can be disastrous today. And despite all the things it does that are great, there's a lot here that just feels outdated. Developed by a fledgling studio called Whoopi Camp, Tomba was an ambitious release for its time. It's a 2D platformer at its core, but there are really several unique gameplay components working in tandem here. Tomba is an action platformer with a heavy emphasis on exploring, a juggernaut of a 32-bit platformer, and an impressive technical specimen as well. But of course, it was also a game no one bought. And playing it 13 years later, I kinda see why. Tomba came during a transformative period for the platforming genre. The game's obviously old school at heart, taking inspiration from the 2D classics from the previous decade, but it's also an early example of the 2.5D platformer. And in fact, it borrows as much from games like Klonoa as it does earlier ones like Ghosts and Goblins. You play as Tomba, a little pink-haired Tarzan who has some personal beef with an army of demon pigs. Actually, I guess, I guess it'd be personal pork. Nonetheless, you guide Tomba on his quest for redemption by struggling with his controls. Tomba received a lot of glowing reviews in 1998, and much of the game deserves that praise. It looks fantastic, with charming art realized by fairly impressive tech, and its sprawling, surprisingly open design gives the game a really unique flavor among its platforming peers. There's a lot to love about it, but unfortunately, Tomba has the inexplicable predisposition to doing belly flops. In fact, that's the only way Tomba jumps. That means he's always pulling forward in midair, if ever so slightly, and that means trying to control him, especially when you try to platform, could be a nightmare. And since the game was created by Takuro Fujiwara, who also made Ghosts and Goblins, Tomba has similarly cruel enemies and levels, but with awkward controls, I mean, they're not even cruel, they're just, they're just annoying. We have to send huge thanks to our good pal Chip from Alabama for sending us this rare and interesting piece of platforming history. So really, thanks a lot, Chip. Control has always been the quintessential ingredient of a platformer. It's what has always separated the greats from the others. Tomba is a notable platformer for many reasons, not the least of which is its unplatformer-like focus on quests, but for now, skip over the retro folder and file Tomba under Outdated. Mm -hmm.